Now, speaking of dead people in heaven, <laughs> there are some people who not only believe that their dead parents in heaven can see them, okay? Okay. <laughs> they honestly believe that their dead parents in heaven can help them. You've heard these people, I'm sure. They honestly somehow believe that their dead parents in heaven can intercede with God on their behalf to gain favors for the living. I come from a Catholic home. I heard this shit. <laughs> they sit there in the chair with the fucking rosary and they look at you like this, you know, and they say, oh, my dad, my dad was looking out for me. He, he was looking out. I don't know how he got me out of that jam, but he got me out. Oh, my mom, my mom was in surgery with me. She was in, I could feel her presence in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> like the people who die have nothing better to do than to run the heavenly branch of the Make-A-Wish Foundation. <laughs> now, if people want to believe this kind of stuff, it's fine with me, let them believe it. I don't, I don't, I don't want to disabuse anyone of their, dis of their beliefs, but I have a question about this. A question that involves logic. Let's suppose it's true. Let's allow the proposition that somehow dead parents in heaven can help their living children. Fine. So, we got a family living on earth, father and mother and four kids. Family of six. Good family, nice family, doing all the right things, having a good time, making all the right moves. And the, the, the parents go away on a weekend trip and get killed in an accident. And the children, of course, survive. So now, according to this theory, these two people go to heaven and they start helping their four living children. Helping them with everything they need. Helping them with their science projects, with their SAT scores. Helping them get a good school and get a, get a nice job and get a promotion and a raise and someone to marry and they all grow up. These four kids now grow up and have children of their own. And let's say that all four of these now grown children also die at the same time. Just for the sake of argument. <laughs> let's say there's an explosion at Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> and these four die, but their children survive because they were seated at the children's table. <laughs> so... So now, according to the theory, these four go to heaven and they start helping their living children. But what happens to the original two? What happens to the grandparents? Do they just go off duty now? What do they do? Are there some, is there a retirement program up there? Are there some activities for these people? Shuffleboard, pinball, online poker? There must be something they can do. Or do they have to remain on duty indefinitely? Do they have to keep on helping their living descendants forever and ever and ever? Is that what heaven's all about, helping the living? When do you get to just lie back on a cloud and take a fucking harp lesson? You know what I mean? Because, because people have been dying, people have been dying for a long, long time. There's been a lot of dead motherfuckers. Did you know that? Yes, you knew there's a lot of dead motherfuckers. We've had 100 billion people live on this earth. That's what the experts say. 100 billion people have lived here. So let's say half of them died and went to heaven. That's 50 billion people up there. That's a pretty crowded place. It must get pretty busy and pretty hectic up there. And God must get pretty pissed off with all these favors. Yeah, yeah, I know. Spelling test Tuesday. Get the fuck out of here, would you please? Get the fuck out of here. You know, even God can go on sensory overload. That's why he wanted one day off a week. Christians gave him Sunday. Jews gave him Saturday. Muslims gave him Friday. God has a three-day weekend. <laughs> which is probably just what he needs. Now, just a couple other questions about this whole theory. Suppose you die without having any children. Who do you help? <laughs> Strangers? It would be nice. Suppose you're an adopted child. Who helps you? Your biological mother? She doesn't even know where the fuck you live. <laughs> Suppose you kill your parents. Would they help you? I'll guarantee you Mr. and Mrs. Menendez are not helping those two boys. No, no.
Yeah, it's all bullshit, folks. It's bad for you. It's all bullshit. That's what you have to remember as you go through life in this country. It's all bullshit, and it's bad for you. 